Hello students, today we will be solving exercise 2.1 of whole numbers and this is going to be part 2. So now let's start with question number 7. In each of the following pairs of numbers, state which whole number is on the left of the other number on the number line. Also write them with appropriate signs in between them. Okay, let's start with the first question. First question, 530 and 503. 530, 503. Okay, first we look at the known number of uh, uh, places in each number. Okay, 530 has three uh, places and 503 has three places. We always start like this. Since they have the same number of places, we will move on to the last digit of both numbers. Last, dig uh, last digit of both numbers are the same, so we have to ignore them. Now let's go on to the second place. Second place is 3 in this number in 530 and 0 over here. So obviously 3 is greater than 0. Yes. So we, the 530 will be greater than 503 and we denote it by this symbol where the mouth of the greater sign always faces to uh, the left hand side or uh, to the greater number. All right. Now on the number line it will be represented like this. 503 will be on the left hand side and 530 will be on the right hand side. All right. Since this is greater, this will be on the right hand side. Second example, 370 and 307. Right. So now again, we'll start by looking at the number of places in each. So there's again three here and three here. So they both have the same number of places. Now we have to look at the last value of both of them. So three and three, correct? So we have to ignore them since they are equal. And uh, seven and zero is in the second place, correct? Seven obviously is greater than zero. So the mouth faces to the greater number that is three, seven, zero. And uh, three, seven, zero will be on the right hand side. And 307 will be on the left hand side. All right. Next one 98765 and 56789. All right. Number of places in the first number, number of places in the second number, 5 and 5. All right. Now we will start by looking at the last digit of both numbers since they both have the same number of places, nine and five, correct? Nine is obviously greater than five. So the mouth will face towards the greater number that is nine, eight, seven, six, five. And the lesser number will be, face, uh, will be on the left-hand side of the number line. That is five, six, seven, eight, nine will be on the left-hand side of the number line. All right. Next, uh, D, 9830415. Wait, let's actually rewrite that again. Yeah, 9830415. And 1002300. All right, please. In exams, please evenly space out your numbers so uh, you can easily read them, right? So you do not make any mistakes. You should be able to see the numbers clearly. It should be neat. All right. So just uh, make sure you, you know you keep that in mind. Okay. So number of uh, uh, the let, let's count the values. Uh, then uh, places in this number one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven eight. Okay, there are eight digits uh, in this one and seven digits in this one. All right. Now, obviously, by just looking at it, we know that since this has eight places, obviously, this number is going to be greater. Right. So the greater sign will face to the greater number. And 9830415 will be on the left hand side of the number line. All right. Here are the answers. Please pause the video if you want to have a better look at the answers. All right. 
take your time let's go to the next question eighth one which of the following statements are true and which are false zero is the smallest natural number natural numbers are those numbers starting from one to infinity correct zero is not included in um, natural numbers so zero cannot be considered um, in this uh, situation so this is uh, this is going to be false as zero is not a natural number b 400 is a predecessor of 399 so predecessor means the number before like how we learned in the previous video so predecessor of 399 is subtraction minus 1 right 9 minus 1 will be 8 9 comes down as it is 9 3 comes down as it is 3 answer is 3 9 8 so this statement is false 398 is a predecessor of 399 and not 400 next question zero is the smallest whole number true because uh, whole numbers are starting from zero to infinity and since it starts with zero we always know that zero is the smallest number one comes after it two comes after it so obviously zero is the smallest whole number all right so this statement is true second 600 is a successor of 599 successor means the number after so 599 we always a successor is plus one a nine plus one zero one nine plus one again zero one five plus one six all right so our answer is 600 so this statement is true next one all national numbers are whole numbers let's take the number line okay zero one two three four blah 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 to infinity so they say all natural numbers are whole numbers natural numbers are what from one to infinity and whole numbers are from zero to infinity obviously natural numbers lie within this uh within whole numbers so this statement is true next one all whole numbers are natural numbers again taking the number line as I explained 0 1 2 3 4 infinity okay natural numbers are from 1 to infinity whole numbers are from 0 to infinity so obviously uh, this one whole numbers do not lie I mean uh, 0 does not lie in uh, natural numbers so whereas all the other numbers except 0 lie in natural numbers except for 0 so since zero is not included in natural numbers we can say that this statement is false see zero is a whole number but not a natural number a predecessor of a two digit number is never a single digit number let's take an example okay two digit number 10 predecessor means minus one so 10 minus one it's nine correct so this is a single number we started off with a double number uh, double digit number a uh, two digit number sorry so obviously the predecessor of a two digit number is a single digit number it it is possible so this statement is false next one one is the smallest whole number whole numbers are what numbers starting from zero to infinity correct so where does one come zero one two three like that right they say that one is the smallest whole number before one comes zero isn't zero the smallest whole number so this statement is false zero is the smallest whole number and not one all right next question the national number one has no predecessor now let's pay more importance to this it says national number please do not uh, mistake this please always highlight this with some pencil or something like that it says the natural number one all right natural number one so if you draw a number line natural numbers are from what what to what from one to infinity correct so natural number has no predecessor it is true 
because we it starts with one there is no number before one two three four like that blah 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 it goes on but it always starts with one so it says natural number whole numbers start from zero so natural numbers start from one to infinity so obviously not the natural number one obviously has no predecessor correct so the statement is true the whole number one has no predecessor let's take the table uh, the number line again zero one two three four blah 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 to infinity this is zero it says the whole number one again more importance to the question it says whole number underlying this so it says whole number whole number starts from zero to infinity it says one has no predecessor this is one so let's take the predecessor of one one minus one correct this is predecessor so one minus one is zero so is zero a whole number yes obviously so this statement is false because zero is the predecessor of one and it is a whole number the whole number 13 lies between 11 and 12 if you take a number line 10 11 12 13 14 so on correct does 13 lie in between 11 and 12 no so this statement is obviously false next question the whole number zero has no predecessor let's see the whole number zero has no predecessor so if we take number line again whole numbers are from where uh, from which number to where zero to infinity correct it says the whole number again underline please whole number so it says zero has no predecessor zero minus one we are taking the predecessor right zero minus one is how much minus one correct these are known as integers but they asked whole number correct whole number starts with zero there is no number before zero negative one does not come in this number line correct it is not there so the statement is true the successor of a two digit number is always a two digit number not always suppose we take an example 99 right they said successor so plus one so nine plus one 10 one carry over 9 plus 1 again 10 correct so answer is 100 99 is a two digit number the successor of it is a three digit number that is 100 so this statement is false correct yes all right that's the end of this uh, exercise Thank you so much for listening. And if you have any doubts or any questions, please feel free to comment them in the comment section below and then we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.